Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this sparkling star. This works best with the dark background. First open a new document and let's change the background color. To do that set the stroke to none and the fill to one of the dark colors. Now press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Then click on this intersection hold and drag your mouse across to cover the whole artboard. It is a good idea to lock the background layer to prevent it from shifting. Next let's create a new layer. To do that either press the Ctrl and L keys on your keyboard or click on the Create New Layer icon. Now select the layer 2 and let's change the fill to white. Next select the Polygon tool, then click on the Artboard, Hold and Drag. While still holding your mouse press the up arrow key two times to create an octagon. Not letting off your mouse yet, press the Shift key to constrain it. Now release the mouse and then release the key. And we are ready to create a sparkling star. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform and select Packer and Bloat. Check the preview box so you can see what you are doing and move the slider to the left. Negative 150 looks good. Click OK. Next we will duplicate this shape. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now either press the letter R for the Rotate tool or select it from the toolbar panel and press Enter. Type 22.5 for the angle and click OK. And let's make it a little smaller. Press the letter S for the Scale tool or select it from the sidebar and press Enter. Type 70 for the uniform and click OK. Using the selection tool select everything, right click and choose group. This will keep both shapes together. Next we will illuminate the star by creating a light source. First let's add a new layer and lock the layer 2. Now select the layer 3 then go to the Ellipse tool and draw a circle. Next open the Gradient panel. If you don't have it open go to Window and select Gradient. Click on this little arrow and choose White and Black. Change the type to Radial. Now select the black slider and change it to White. Then open the Opacity window and set it to 0. Now moving the location slider, change it to about 16%. You can see the numbers changing in the location window below as I move the slider. Now adjust the size of the star and the light. Select both. Open the Align panel and make sure the Align to Selection is checked. Choose the Horizontal Align Center and the vertical align center. If you desire you can select the circle and go back to adjust the gradient. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.